ladies, Q&A day. Okay, I've got some interesting questions for you today. So, couldn't wear my contacts today. I ended up getting some vitamin C <laughs> in my left eye and it's kind of burned it so I'm having to wear my glasses. So, bear with me my ladies. Okay, we have quite a few. I think you're going to like them. One of these is one of our subscribers, ladies. She said, Sharon, okay, you know how you always say sassy, classy, and confident at the end of your videos? Well, my husband and I went shopping the other night for dark denim jeans and said he had a full-length mirror outside of his dressing room. And he was trying his jeans on. So I walked over and looked in my in the shared shared the mirror with him. I didn't I don't have a mirror at home that is full length. I just have one that you can see to the hips. Seeing this whole entire picture gave me a self-esteem boost that I've never had before. I like a hell of a lot better than I thought. She said, you have to see the whole picture. I am still eating right, I'm still staying very active, but I was feeling so much worse about my size than I am. I had that moment in the mirror of sassy, classy, and confident. I think I might have even muttered, dang girl, mm, I think I said it out loud. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you something, girlfriend. That, that's what happens. You know, that's kind of like the mirror affirmations that I have all of my clients do, my coaching clients. I always tell them, take an eye pencil, just an eyebrow pencil of any kind. Go into your bathroom mirror or the mirror that you look into more often. Write on that mirror with your pencil, I love myself. I am exquisite, I am gorgeous, I accept myself for exactly as I am. And leave that on that mirror. Just leave it. Do not clean that mirror. And every day when you go in and you look at yourself in that mirror, in the ladies room or where, whatever room it is, make it a point to frequent in front of that mirror during the day and the evening. And read that over 10 times as you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Now, I know it's going to be hard because you're going to laugh and think, Oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, I'm special. Mm -hmm. Yes, do it. I don't care how silly and how fun you make it. If you will do that 10 times a day for 30 days, I promise you, you'll think the poo-poo don't stink when you walk out that door, girlfriends. The more, most powerful affirmations you can do are the ones in the mirror that reflect your own energy back to yourself. And that is exactly what she did here. She saw herself in the mirror and she says, you know what? I'm not that bad at all. I see the whole picture here. I look pretty dead gum good. And it was her attitude that was even better. You know, it's, I don't care if you're plus size I don't care what size you are, because she said she was plus size here. And she was a full 18 wing and at about 235 pounds. But she said, you know what? Once I saw the whole picture, I felt gorgeous. I felt beautiful. Of course she did. Because she is beautiful. I don't care if you're bucko five, because I've been 89 pounds and size two for so many years. It was pathetic. And then when I became plus size, it's not that I worked on church then, menopause did that for me, and steroids, other things. But I want you to know that I think I'm just as cute now as I was when I was size two and probably cuter. Ladies, it's how you feel about you. It's got to come from within. And I have never seen a lady that wasn't extremely attractive. You know, it is so bizarre because I taught a workshop one time in California and I had everybody out sitting on the beach because I, I knew this would help them meditate and kind of get quiet and still and really think about what I was trying to teach them here. And then I asked them to look around at everyone in the group. And they did. They turned their heads and they looked at everyone in the group. And I said, now if you can find one unattractive person Stand up. I want you to know almost the whole group stood up. 
There was only about two sitting down. And then I said, okay, fine, everybody sit down. And I said, I, w I was mortified and I was shocked because I could not believe that they didn't at least find one something beautiful about every single individual. Because every single person was there, I promise you, I thought they were gorgeous. This one gal had the most gorgeous hands you've ever seen in your whole life. I mean, they were just pedal soft and just cameo and not an age a spot on her hand. Her nails were gorgeous. That was so striking when I saw this woman. I can't begin to tell you how many women I saw that had the most gorgeous eyes ever and the longest eyelashes. Some had just flawless skin. I mean, we can go on down the list. There's always one or more things that are beautiful about every single person. And, it, I, you know, my, my whole point is you can't judge that someone is not attractive or not. You can't judge that they're what you call ugly. There's no such thing as an ugly-looking person. There's something gorgeous about each and every one. So needless to say, my group learned their lessons by the time we were through with the exercise. But that's my whole point. My point is if you can't see something beautiful with every other person, how are you going to see it in yourself? You see what I'm saying? You are what you put out there. That's what it's all about. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Sassy, classy, confident, that's this whole group of women. That is this whole group on YouTube. I can tell you that. Listen, we all think we're all that in a bag of chips, and I can tell you we are. But, um, I just had to share that one question with you because when this subscriber wrote this, I asked her, I said, oh, let me read that <laughs> on my Q&A. I just know this is going to be great. I teach this stuff all day long. I mean, this is what I do. But you know she must have just been breathtaking to stand in front of that mirror for the first time and says, dang, girl, I got it going on. Now, can't you imagine how she felt when she went home? Because she had to send me this little, this little note, this comment. I absolutely loved it. So, she knows who she is. Mwah. Love you, girl. Okay, next question. <laughs> she kind of threw me for a loop. I just love that question. Okay, Sharon. Can you please tell us how to get our skin to glow? <laughs> I love that you're asking me, right? Well, let me explain something to you. Sometimes people have a natural glow. Sometimes people have oily skin. I've gone through this before. But there are things we can do to remove the dead skin cells, okay, and bring a glow to our complexion. I can't say you're going to look like a bloody moonbeam. You're not going to, you know, put the lights up. But let me explain to you things you can do. First thing you can do is ex keep your skin exfoliated. Ladies, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times, that is the most important thing. You have got to get that dead skin cells off of that epidermis. You're never going to get down to the dermis with exfoliating that way. But you will take all the dead skin cells off. And it'll clean out, you know, your dark pores and get rid of all the oil in there in the dirt. And they'll appear smaller. And I don't care whether you exfoliate by microdermabrasion, uh, whether you use clarisonic, dermaplaning, glycolic acid, any way you can do it, do it. And keep doing it, okay? And of course, the, the next thing I like is um, glycolic cleansers, uh, glow therapeutics. Um, and, and it's about 10% on their uh, cleanser. Um, is one of the best facial cleansers to promote glow. So you might want to check into that product, but I really like that glycolic cleanser a lot. Uh, right now, I'm really enjoying my uh, glycolic um, regimen that Natalie, the beauty diva, talked about in one of her videos, and then I shared it in mine. I mean, it's absolute. I shine like a moonbeam without my makeup on, girlfriends. If I didn't wear matte makeup, you would just see me look like a little moonbeam, like a little crystal ball. 
The next thing is, we've talked about microdermabrasion a lot of times, and I've told you about the PMD and what have you. I've always gone in for, you know, a professional microdermabrasion, if you will. But uh, I do a lot of it at home myself, only because of a time constraint, because believe me, I'm that type that can go in and lay there and say, do me, do me, do me all day, you know what I mean? But microdermabrasion helps, again, exfoliate and get all that crud off of your face. And I, I believe that you should do that at least once a month. Um, vitamin C serums are fabulous. I personally use a 30% in vitamin C. Um, I go back and forth from revision uh, to SkinCeuticals. Um, so I can't say which one I like the best because I like them both. Um, it's easier, and I say easier to use, it's easier for me with a revision because sometimes SkinCeutical, vitamin C can get your eye and just burn the heck out of it like mine did today. But it never happens with a revision. I don't know why it just doesn't run like the others. But vitamin C helps keep the glow to your skin and it's healthy. Um, also, Skin Medica puts out a product called Lyteria, L-Y-T-E-R-A which is an excellent, excellent product that, we, you know, will, you know, uh, produce glow, if that's what you're looking for. And then, of course, girlfriends, we cannot forget our good old Retin-A. Because without Retin-A, we wouldn't have uh, that kind of glow. We, you know, we'd have all that dead skin out on the surface. And face oils. Face oils are so completely important. I cannot begin to tell you. Uh, we've mentioned a lot of different face oils uh, like macadamia, jojoba oil, almond oil. Um, there's all kinds of different oils, and, and I've listed a lot of them in my videos before. So, And I told you I was going to do that thing on oil soon, that series, but I've had other things that kind of interfered a little bit. So we'll get to that, though. So I kind of hope that answered your question on how you get your skin to glow, and I appreciate it. Thank you for asking. Okay, next question. Sharon, you mentioned your granddaughter is a college student and she has always lived with you. Can you tell us more about her? <laughs> yeah, everybody like wants to know about members of my family. I think it's cute. She's the apple of my eye. I have reared her my whole life. She is 24 years old. She is so completely elegant, you wouldn't believe it. She's a spitfire. She's tough like her Mimi, but uh, she's got such a good level head on her shoulders. And you talk about skin, you're going to hate her when you meet her. Let me tell you why. She has never in her whole entire life had a pimple or a blackhead. Oh no, I'm not kidding you. You know, I grew up, my head was acne prone, everything else. Everyone in the family had some sort of issues and then this gorgeous little daughter, this, you know, with all this Pacific Islander blood arrives on our scene, and her skin is flawless and always has been. So, I can't wait for you to meet her. She is going to do a couple of videos with me. Uh, she does a lot of my filming, you know, for me and this kind of thing. So, yeah, her name is Tashiana, T-A-T-I-A-N-A. -A -A. Um... She had gone to a four-year university and was getting ready to go into uh, a graduate school. And then she came to me and she said, Mimi, I have completely changed my mind. Now, mind you, she was a fashion marketing slash wannabe creative director, okay, type student here. And, I mean, all of a sudden we're ready for grad school and then to get the good job, she could move away. And then she said she changed her mind now. She wanted to go to med school and become an anesthesiologist. Um, I don't know where that came from. My, From the very beginning she went to school, she started out, you know, with the pre-med classes because we thought she was going to go into, neuro, you know, uh, uh, neuropsychology, pediatric neuropsychology, but then... She changed her mind because she says she won't have to study that hard. <laughs> but yes, she's she's something else. She's something else. She dates quite a bit. She has a lot of friends. She has a lot of fun. But she is very, very down to earth. 
You know, she's a Taurus, so she can be a little ball-headed, too, if you know what I mean. But she has really, really long, dark hair with red highlights. She's very exotic-looking. But you'll meet Tashiana. She's something else. She's, that's my heart and soul, that one, let me tell you. All right, so that answered that question. Next question, and we have one more question. Dear Sharon, you told us about your high-rise have you taken any pictures yet, and have you moved? No, I have not moved yet. Um, <laughs> we've had to <laughs> put back just a little bit to get some stuff done around here with my family and all what they need to be and what they need to do at the time. So I've had to postpone my move a little bit. Um, it should be before the first of the year, but oh yes, ma'am, I am still planning on going to my high-rise. The elevator life, the high rise, looking out the big windows, walking down the hall to work out, having people pick up your trash and do all these wonderful things. No more pool maintenance, no more talking to a yard man about what to do and when to do it. Hallelujah, honey. I am still on my way to that high rise, make no mistakes. But thank you for asking, girlfriends. And yes, I will uh, do a trip because everybody's asked about that. As, as soon as I get ready, I will be over there and touring through the place just so you can see what it looks like and everything. It's just great. I love it. It's fabulous. Okay, that's about all I have for today. There are still some other questions, but I'm going to save them for our next Q&A because I'm just kind of inundated with them, but that's okay. You just send me all the questions you want, and I'll be more than happy to go down the list for you. But I want you to have a super, super fabulous week. I want you to take care of you, do something nice for you. And by the way, don't you forget those affirmations in your mirror that I had mentioned in one of my videos, okay? And earlier in one of my questions. So I want you to remember that and I want you to try it because you know what? It works. I mean, we only have one life to live and we've got to live it and we've got to be happy living it. But you have to love you. You have to get out there and take that world just by the palm of your hands and work it any way you want to. Do what you want to do. Go where you want to go. We're in our middle age now. We have more freedom than we've ever had before. And we have choices. So make your choices. Remember, you got to take care of you now. It's all about you. You serve your time. You've been the parent. And if not, you're still putting kids through college, and that's fine. But you still have time for you. It's got to be about you. If you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. All right, girls. Thumbs up if you really like this video. And I want you to stay sassy, classy, and confident until I see you again next week. I love each and every one of you. Mwah! Thank you, new subbies. You hang with us. Thanks for joining my team.